Now I was getting myself all ready to paint here and then I suddenly thought why well that wasn't sudden but <laughs> I thought I've only got these four little pieces here to paint okay now we are why does this not look right oh yeah here we go okay we are on step 45 and uh, we've made these these pieces here we're ready to paint them before we can put them down on the deck but I'm just wondering should I maybe be jumping ahead here and see if there's anything else I should be painting uh, at the same time that is going to be the same color of gray that we're going to be using in other words it'll be the 22 I want to be painting these uh, these pieces here the 22 so that they sort of match everything else now it seems to me we we did get this out and look at it before um, let's just dig out these pieces here okay 46 now when we jump to 47 we're, we're getting into the uh, into ladders again uh, yeah let's just grab these pieces right here and see if they need to be painted I, I have a faint recollection of painting these already though now mind you looking back on 45 where we actually are there is railing here that has to be uh, cut and bent and painted but it, it won't be uh, number 22 okay I was right we did paint this piece but we did not paint this piece here the P1 now these pieces right here B19 and B24 I could be wrong but I think they have to be painted either red or green if they are what I think they are I can't see what what else they could possibly be mounted right here now 19 and 24 I think we can leave them ganged together and separate them later now these little bumps that you see on the top here well, they're they're clearly positioning pins that go on the since so you can plug it into the side of the superstructure in the right place. like I'm poking at it but I'm just sort of turning it around so that you can see the general shape okay now I guess it would go on the side of the ship something like this let's just check it out and see exactly what these are but I'm pretty sure they're the red and green uh, markers that go on the side of a, a ship or a boat or an aircraft now it's kind of funny if you say a little rhyme or a little saying in your mind to help you remember something well it does it helps you remember it and when I was in grade 2 our teacher used to have little sayings that went along with a particular word to help you remember how to spell it and it actually worked now I'm not going to tell you how I remember to spell arithmetic because it's not politically correct anymore however bicycle well, bicycle is Billy is carrying your clean little eraser. <laughs> I cannot write bicycle without saying that little rhyme in my mind. Now, when I was getting my pilot's license and taking my flight training, there was another little saying that went like this. Red to red, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think that also applies in the, uh, in the nautical world. And, you know, just turn turn to starboard so that you're exposing your red light and your oncoming ship that all you can see is each other's lights. Well, if, if uh, they do the same, well, you pass red to red. <laughs> yeah, and it works, usually. 
A moment ago I was trying to remember how did I do the markers on the Bismarck and I, I, know I, I knew I had red and green paint. Um, I would bought it before I'd even got the kit as best I remember, uh, but I couldn't remember exactly how I did it. And so I walked over there a minute ago and you, you can see it over here. It's, it's just, uh, uh, it's, it's really hard to see because of the reflection uh, of the outside on the, on the plexiglass front. However, it is there and when you walk over you can see it nice and clear. And to my surprise and embarrassment, I did not paint them red or green. Uh, I just painted them over. <laughs> well, we're not going to do that on the hood. We're going to make the effort on the hood and try and uh, get red and green markers. Okay, here's what we've got. Now, this clear green and this clear red, I bought those with this sort of thing in mind. However, in order to, to use these, I would definitely have to uh, put white primer on, on these parts first. Otherwise, this, this green is just not going to, you know, you're going to see through and you're going to see the gray plastic. Um, <clears throat> now, if I was to use just the, the ordinary red here, then I wouldn't have to uh, prime it white. Uh, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of plastic and I'm going to just do a little bit of a do a little test here. We'll shake these up and see what we got. Um, now I know there's people that say, "Well, Ron, you should be priming anyway. What's the matter with you? You know, I even prime my potatoes before I put gravy on it." Well, you just go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just uh, doing what I want to do here, and uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I know I've sounded a little bit mean there, and uh, I, I guess I was maybe getting tired of people talking about priming everything. Um, mind you, I haven't heard that for a while. Maybe I should reshoot this. I apologize. Okay, once again, I'd like to apologize for being so cranky there. Now, this is what I've done. I've uh, cleaned off a spot here on this uh, piece of plastic from uh, Tony's Mule, and... Remember two years ago, Tony sent us that uh, one 350th scale model, and uh, we were using the parts off of it to. Uh... Anyway, uh, yeah, so I think I got a. Okay, I think I got it pretty bare here. I'm going to put the uh, Steinle Res white down, just, just a, a, a swath of it. Then I'm going to take each one of these colors and go right across both on, on the plastic as well as on the on the primer and we'll just see which comes out the best now no uh, you know but but what I was saying about priming I you know I admit priming is good okay don't get me wrong there Now, you'll recognize this thing here as our samples. Probably have to give it a couple of coats here.
Now this is the plan. I'm going to take a swatch of each one of these and just go straight across. And uh, we'll be able to tell how it looks over the plastic and how it looks over the primer. And uh, I may have to do two coats. I'll see how it goes. Because I'm just going to use the brush. I'm not going to use the airbrush. But I'm going to do this off camera. And we'll see how it is tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.